this is an ABS wire and it was just kind of hanging down here and in fact you can see that there's exposed copper where the insulation touched and, it's, and it melted off and so there's completely bare wire that's why the sensor is giving you know bad reading no reading at all so we need to replace this length of wire I've clipped off the connector so we can attach that once we have a, a new strand of wire and I'm just gonna follow it back until it's, I see where it's good I'll have to remove all this tape so I can see what's under here because it definitely looks like the burnt insulation travels in. Here's a close up. You can see there's like five inches of completely bare copper. I've unwrapped this uh, tape around the wire and revealed it far enough back that I can see several inches of, of uh, clean, good condition wire and I'm going to find a place to cut it and then replace it after that point. We're using a drill to twist up the wire, make it look nice. I'm attaching the new wire to the original sensor. It's all attached, the new wire is there and I'm going to reroute it up and over the shield where it was before. I've fed the wire through and I have it all taped off so that it's not not tight, but um, it's not hanging around now. Just took this Chevy Venture for a test drive and the light for the ABS is off. Everything looks good to go.